Me and Muhammad Ali by Jabari Asim, illustrated by A.G. Ford. Langston noticed something different in his neighborhood. A new flyer announcing that the great boxing champion, Muhammad Ali, was coming to town. The flyer was in front of a large mural called the Wall of Respect that Langston Dad had helped paint. The wall featured the faces of many black heroes, including Langston's favorite, Muhammad Ali. And now the real Muhammad Ali, the champion of the whole world, would actually be here. Like most folks, Langston looked up to the champ because of his strength, speed, and confidence. But Langston loved him just as much for his poetry. He was thrilled when Ali promised to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. He was delighted whenever Ollie boasted, I've wrestled with alligators, I've trussled, tussled with a whale, I've done handcuffed lightning and thrown thunder in jail. At recess, the kids were inspired to make up their own rhymes as they gathered on the playground. Langston called up, called all up all the confidence he had and belted out his rhyme. I'm smart as a fox and fast as a hound. I can sneak up on you without making a sound. Langston had been counting the days till Ollie's arrival, and finally the day was here. Everyone's talking about the champ, his dad said, looking at Ollie's photo in the newspaper. Langston's mom was just as excited. She liked that Ollie was fighting to make the world a better place for everyone. He is never afraid to tell the truth, she said. Langston wanted to be just like that when he grew up. After breakfast, Langston went to the barber shop and got his afro shape to look just like the champs. He laughed while the old men swapped stories of their younger days. Mr. Sutton, the barber, had even been an athlete himself. On the wall was a picture of Mr. Sutton receiving a gold medal. He stood on a box with a garland of leaves around his head near portraits of Jersey Joe Walcott, Henry Armstrong, and other champions Mr. Sutton had known and admired. Ollie combines the best of all of them, Mr. Sutton told Langston. I was there when he took the crown from Sonny Liston in 64. Fastest hands I've ever seen. Everyone laughed as Mr. Sutton and Langston pretended to trade punches. As Langston and his mom left for the high school, Mr. Sutton yelled out, Tell the greatest I said hello. I sure will, Langston promised. Then Langston practically floated like a butterfly down the street, dreaming of his hero. At the high school, a guard stopped them. I'm sorry, he said. This event is for students only. But we're neighbors, Langston's mom said. We live around the corner. Won't you please let us in? Sorry, ma'am, the guard replied. Wait, Langston said. You gotta let us in. We've been counting down the days. I even got my afro trimmed. Please. The guard just shook his head. Then a voice boomed. What's the problem here? Langston looked up and could not believe his eyes. It was Muhammad Ali, the world champion himself. When the champ heard about their problems, he put his arms around Langston and his mom and told the guard, 
Don't worry, they're with me. Langston could hardly believe their luck. They all went in together while reporters shouted questions and flash bulbs popped. Langston felt joyous and proud, like Ollie strutting in the ring. The next morning, Langston could still feel the champ's energy wrapping him in its warm glow. His hero's face beamed at him as he walked by the wall of respect. He was already thinking of recess when he would tell everyone about meeting the champ. Then he would chant some rhymes loud enough for the whole playground to hear. I'm quick and I'm strong. I'm black and I'm free. I'm brave and I'm bold, just like Muhammad Ali. The end.